Um, so you're looking at a Windows Phone, <coughs> excuse me, a Windows Phone 7 series device. Um, this is the start experience. It's composed of live tiles, so a very clean design. Um, the live tiles really are about surfacing the most important information um, dynamically to you and not distracting the user with a lot of Chrome or a lot of um, graphics to surround that information. So you can see this in kind of next calendar appointments, recent messages. Um, it looks like you know I can pin a website. You can pin pretty much anything to start. So that information is important, but it's also important to be a reflection of the user and, and it, like I said, the content that the user actually cares about most. Um, so you'll see, um, I can pin a contact to it. I can pin an application like you know explorers on here. I can also pin things like an artist or music. Um, I can pin an album or a playlist. So really, pretty much anything um, you want to customize it, and then to cut to move it around once you once you have them on your device, you simply press and hold, and kind of they gracefully get out of the way as I move it around. I'll put Outlook and Office or Microsoft Office on top. So that's kind of the really the core entry point. I apologize. Um, the core entry point for the device. Um, there's obviously also a kind of a standard app launcher that has a full list of um, applications on the, on the device. Um, but really, start is where we want people interacting and entering uh, experiences. The second piece of um, where we talk around around smart design and kind of how it's designed around the user is the hubs. And so the hubs are really. Um, centralized experiences that bring together information regardless of where it lives, where it's stored, or where it's coming from. So um, what I mean by that is this is the people hub, and so you have your standard kind of contact list, um, but it also has um, in, the in that same people experience what's new, and these are feeds from various um, social networks. So I have a bunch of feeds from Facebook going on here, Windows Live, um, and so the idea is that the content may be on your device, like certain contacts on your device, but they also have an aspect of their content that may be stored in an exchange server that you sync from your corporate exchange, or on Facebook, or on um, Windows Live, or MySpace. Um, and so we're trying to aggregate all that information into one place, into one contact, so that instead of having to go into an experience to find out about a person, and a person is really kind of chopped up across a bunch of different um, disaggregated experiences, they should be brought together the way a user, the way a person sees them, which is as one. And so that's true with people. It's true with um, pictures. There's a pictures hub, which again brings information from a variety of services into one. It's true with music, which features the um, the Zoom experience and the Zoom as a player, but also features third-party um, services like Last.fm, um, Shazam, and, and some of the applications, all part of this music and video hub. And so um, that gives you a sense of kind of where we're going. And really where this gets exciting is with how that third-party integration can start to take advantage of both the kind of dynamic um, start experience and the live tiles and the integration into the hubs. Because now instead of kind of having the app of the week because you have to select that app um, and go into it and then after a week you find a new app that you like better and move off of it, now those apps can really deliver an experience that's, that's carried through. You don't have to select that icon or that application to sign in to experience it. It's actually um, pervade throughout the device. And so you really have pretty um, interesting ways that developers can now take advantage of that. And they can still offer their app as kind of a standalone app so that's not integrated. Uh, but we think it's pretty a pretty powerful um, kind of driving principle, underlying principle of how the device is designed to really deliver experience. In the so that's Windows Phone 7 series in a nutshell. Happy to kind of show you around other parts of the device. You know, that's a website that got pinned to the device. It might take a second to load because of the connectivity in this in this room. Um, I can show you the search experience, whatever you want.